All right. Uh, hello, all. Uh, a viewer asked uh, if I could post a video about what I thought of the latest Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, trusty, uh, whatever, goat, trusty goat. <laughs> uh, I'll look the name up later. So I made some just quick notes uh, and points I wanted to talk about. Uh, uh, first thing I want to get out of the way is a lot of people ask um, how I get desktop zoom. So I just go into the dash here and actually we'll just go to applications here or just press the window key and A and we'll just search for Compiz and here it is here so you get this uh, Compiz config settings manager click on it and free download and it'll ask you for your password and you can see it here installing and here it is okay very quick and I haven't installed any extra plugins it's just the default Ubuntu ones so enhanced desktop zoom this is when I click and I use the mouse button to zoom in and to zoom out so click this disable tick the box enable and I use uh, button 4 which is a uh, mouse wheel up and the shift key press OK and the zoom out button same idea uh, mouse button 5 to zoom, uh, down and the shift and press OK and back and we see there we go now we have desktop zoom with the mouse wheel so I'm holding the, the shift key le on the uh, left side shift key obviously and <laughs> uh, the mouse wheel to zoom in and out okay sorry if it made you seasick there um, dash searching uh, I don't really use it a lot um, I know the privacy concerns and supposedly Ubuntu 14.10 is going to have an opt-out or opt-in or whatever you want to call it. Um, but you've probably seen this before. Um, let's go to the settings under privacy. And you can uh, untick this to not record anything. Search and include on, re on results and that's it. Uh, diagnostic, I don't care. I turn that off too. And... Uh, I don't know it like speed wise it doesn't make much difference to me on my system uh, but and there's just a, depends on what end of the spectrum or in between you're on is when you're searching for something it comes up with Amazon results or shopping results uh, be, it would be nice if they're relative and at the worst uh, the privacy concerns and I understand that Now these are more suggestions from the Ubuntu Software Center, I think. So say if I started typing in font, yeah, these are from the, the Software Center. Okay. Um, applications. Uh, a lot of uh, reviews I've seen, they don't like the way it uh, shows applications, like uh, 67 more installed, and you just... Uh, scroll down I know one way uh, you can sort of get a different look is open Nautilus your home folder press control L on your keyboard and now I have desktop zoom I'll zoom in on this here and we'll go to actually slash USR uh, slash share app applications with an S press enter there you go. That's what's installed. Now you might you'll see duplicates because sometimes they have different functions, uh, but this is the list of programs installed, and you can uh, have this kind of view if you want, more of a detailed view. And there's your applications. And you can uh, size, type. I don't know if you can add columns or not. Yeah. Okay. Etc. All right. If you want, you can press con I think Control D. There it goes. I press Control D on the keyboard, and so if I go home, home folder, back to the other view, applications. There you go. It's in your bookmarks. You could rename that to programs, apps, or whatever. Or just leave it as it is. Um, so out of the box experience kind of thing. Uh, it's there's a lot of things that you don't have to do. 
uh, that you have to do in uh, some other distros. Um, for example, the font rendering is already set up nicely. If you want to set that up, you can get Tweak Tool. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but just the Nautilus is fine. But uh, more for Ubuntu is all this stuff like all this stuff uh, like mounting uh, different drives that you may have. It's all done for you. There's no prompt for a password or anything like that. Uh, you can drag and drop between. I don't know if two of you middle click uh, the mouse. Uh, it'll open a new tab. So that's that's kind of neat. You, I guess you can press Control T as well. So um, font rendering itself and adding more stuff for you know uh, tweak your system. I found if you uh, do a search in terminal, for example. So I'll open Control Alt T the terminal, and again I'll zoom in. It's uh, apt cache, and there's two terms you can use: search and then Unity dash tweak dash tool. Okay, or you can do an apt cache show. So I'll take the word uh, search out and put show. And this will give you the information about uh, everything. Uh, proprietary is it's an optional. It's in the uh, repositories by default. And you can even check what version it is, which is uh, 0 0.6 or 0, 0 0.6 Ubuntu. And uh, if you want to go to the home page, it's on a GitHub. GitHub, I can't remember. And press. If you press the control key and the Firefox is your default browser, if it is, uh, hold the control key and press that and it should open this page here. And if you want to add it to a repository, you can by uh, adding in this line. Now you just copy and paste. So I'm going to copy that. I'll tell you why in a second why I'm doing this. Uh, instead of stalling from here. Um, so paste that in. Press enter. Type in your password. Wait a second and press enter again. And then uh, sudo apt ooh, apt <laughs> get update and confirm that repository is there hopefully. We're done. Okay, and then uh, let's do that app cache uh, search again, our show. It says Ubuntu 0.6. Um, let's try this, though. Pseudo apt. What is with me today? Apt get in install unity dash tweak dash tool. And if you look here, right near the bottom, it says setting up Unity Tweak Tool dash zero. I mean zero dot zero dot zero dot seven. Blah blah blah. <laughs> so it's uh, a newer version, and the reason I use that is just one thing: is the uh, so we'll just uh, here it is. Is under the dash launcher. Uh, this thing here on the side, the launcher. A new edition is. You can go to Compass settings, by the way, but the uh, new addition is minimize single window applications on click. So hit that, and it should be pretty much immediate. So let's open this, and yeah, there we go. So you minimize and restore, basically. Okay? Uh, that's not in the default Ubuntu uh, repositories yet. It should be updated soon, though, hopefully. All right? So a few things you have to do in you know, order to get uh, more out of your system and I'll go back to this again you have to uh, you know search the web and as usual and download so under the fonts as I said it's set up nicely uh, with the Ubuntu font settings and the proper usually the best appearance settings hinting at slight and our GBA anti-aliasing 
and again that's done for you. you don't have to do too much but it was set that way I didn't have to download tweak tool to do that I just wanted to confirm that so we've gone through the search and the show and you know some things you have to add now software center yeah it has its, it has its warts <laughs> but I was really surprised is I typed in this tersus yeah, um, if you don't know what Tersus is, it's Twitter client for console. You go to more information, I don't think too many, yeah, nobody's reviewed this, nobody knows about this. But this is kind of neat. I'm going to install this. It's a command line, so I don't even know if I'll have a launcher. But Yeah, it doesn't have a launcher per se, like a GUI. But if I open the terminal and type Tersus S-E-S I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, it'll ask you to go to this page and you have to log in. It'll give you a pin code and then you type that in and then uh, whatever your Twitter account is uh, you can get all the latest information and stuff from the console if you wish to do that. So I'm Control C out of that and exit. Um, what else is ah? Yes, the uh, universal access, which at my age I'm liking even more. <laughs> uh, large text, so you can change like the DPI right away on the fly. So the text is much larger. Turn it off; it's smaller. So I'm going to keep that on for now. For now, and close that. Nice, nice touch. I like that. That's in the gnome as well so the text sizes are a little sharper and larger uh, I guess you could sort of tweak that as well uh, okay um, I don't know how to pronounce this zeitgeist I don't know uh, much controversy over that it's just a database that sits on your system um, and records your activity but so does uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, or whatever, any web browser or anything. Um, and it, that's controlled. It's Ubuntu has installed the uh, the privacy tool, which is like a front end for uh, the uh, application monitor. And you can choose to exclude certain things or add your own to exclude or untick all these to exclude or just turn it off complete like I said you can clear the data usage history but it is handled through this uh, section here in your home folder again control L and a slash dot local enter share and this is where other applications are as well I forgot to mention but there's nothing here uh, there it is and there it is. There's the database right there. Activity. No. And 81. Nearly 82 kilobytes. So that's pretty much nothing. Now there is a program. I'm not sure. I don't think it's in the repositories. But we'll go on to the, on to Firefox. Speaking of Firefox, this is version 29 now. And uh, I usually go into settings, preferences and do some tweaks there and tools and the add-ons uh, I turn off this I don't know why that's there for and extensions I turn off their web integration that just drives me nuts um, personally like when you visit a site that has this enabled for to add into your launcher here it'll prompt you if you want to have that I just disable it because I don't use it in any case uh, the name of that crazy thing. We'll copy that. And Control V and uh, Explorer. Um, what is Explorer? So it's in Launchpad, and there's an Ubuntu wiki on that as well. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what that has to say. I don't even know what's in. No, it's probably a. Uh, More than anything, uh, we'll have to go to Launchpad and 
Maybe you had the PPA. I don't know. Utop oh my oh dear. Source packages. So let's see if the if it's in the default repository. So we'll open the terminal. Uh apt cache search. There is. Great. So we'll just install that then. Sudo apt. <laughs> there I go again. App get install. Control shift V. Password. Yada yada yada. And we'll go to dash Z. There he is. Zeit, guys, zit, whatever. Explorer. And I'm not sure about the monitoring events. I'm not sure how to set this up, but if you go to applications, it does, you can see here what's been happening. Just a monitoring tool I find kind of handy. Okay, so if you don't want any of that, uh, don't uninstall like guys. Just, you don't need to. Uh, that's going too, too far, and I think it, it might mess up your Unity search and stuff like that, if you use Ubuntu Unity or whatever. Um, maybe you can uh, make the database uh, read-only. I don't know. Okay, some criticisms. No FFmpeg. What? <laughs> there is a way to install it. Maybe another video. I don't know. You can look on the Internet. But, yeah, that's for your codecs to play all kinds and uh, decode, like a... Uh, like videos like this, I would just drag and drop it into Audacity, and it would pick, just pick the audio portion. But without FFmpeg, I can't do that. So I can use AVI Dmux as a in between if I don't want to install FFmpeg. Uh, another sort of mini gripe is this: uh, you can't change this yet. Uh, the what are these called? The the uh, toolbar launch access or whatever I forget the name of it right now you can't change where this is it's always stuck on the left side you can't bring it over to the right even though in, if you open the uh, tweak tool it says window controls okay so that's what it was if you go say right nope nothing happens it's still there Show button menu. It, it doesn't. It's hard coded in. Hopefully, there'll be a workaround for that uh, eventually. And the uh, oops, minimize. So single click minimize. That works. And uh, for change desktop background, the usual assortment. You've seen these, and you probably know all this stuff now. Is uh, menu bars appear. Uh, you can have it up here. I don't care personally if it's up here or not. But if you want it inside, just go back to here and uh, let's open a different application. Um, Firefox, probably. There you go. Instead of up here, they're in here now. Okay. The uh, menu bar uh, tools and stuff. Um, and if you want enable workspaces, click that, and you have your workspaces. And if you want to auto hide, I wish they had IntelliHide. That's a better option. If you want to show desktop, it's here. Kind of handy, nice little fade effect. And what else is there? Oh, I love this gradients. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think that's really cool. Uh, system settings and I like this and then uh, say if you had your tweak tool hey tweak tool you can tell the uh, top panel or get the top panel to be opaque or transparent sorry there you go and so it kind of blends in a little more kind of neat uh, what else is there? I think that's about it, uh, as far as, now what do I think overall? It's, um, Ubuntu is pretty good. Uh, Unity, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, like I said, you, once you can control 
you still have control over what is there and what isn't and there's other there's millions of web pages and tutorials on how to disable Amazon and the different lenses and stuff or turn them off totally which uh, would be in your privacy you just turn everything off it doesn't search anything and if you're on I could see that if you're on a slower computer as well um, like if you had a second computer and it's you know a few years old or more <laughs> decade um, I could see turning that off and not having so many results that I try to search online helping um so that's like it like I said it's like out of the box it's it's really well done um, some applications I'll never use I'll never use any LibreOffice stuff personally uh, Amazon I have no uh, use for that not nothing against Amazon uh, but in my country it's useless and it's not their fault um, so uh, Time and date settings. Yeah, I set it to New York. Uh, 20, uh, 12 hour, weekday, month, and then show the seconds. There we go. Get a, more, a little more accurate reading. And you can get little uh, add ons for this area so it's not as useless if you turn on the uh, inline uh, functions. This stuff here. The. Uh, tools and you can then download your assortment of comp is effects you can still get uh, press control um, window key a and uh, we'll search for a uh, synaptic if you wish to, ha to have that instead free download and uh, one thing I saw somebody pointed out and it's a good point is uh, if you do go to uh, system and details, so you have to go to system, details, legal knows it's hidden in here, man. That's not good. And hopefully 1410 uh, will change this because that should be up front. That's, there's no excuse for that. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a criticism for sure. That's a down. So there's your synaptic package manager. If you, you know, prefer to use uh, this instead. I like both. I don't care. Either one will do. But very stable Ubuntu. This release, it's extremely stable. Like, I'm surprised there hasn't been in many crashes. This is a new install, but I have been using it for uh, since it came out, and it's been very good. Uh, you can break it. It's you know Ubuntu has that thing that you can break it easily. Um, but if you leave it as it is. And for like a quote unquote average user, <laughs> um, it's good. It's very good. You know, um, aside from your intense DirectX 11 uh, powerhouse uh, 3D games and maybe some other applications, uh, it's great for open source for the most part uh, software. And there's tons and tons of applications, tons of support, and tons of. Uh, tweaks <laughs> that you can do to the OS itself uh, to make it more fit to your own. Uh, you can remix it if you wish. Uh, you can even sell it a remix if you wish. Um, that's the great thing about the, the open source community. And Ubuntu, we, a lot of us that use Linux owe you know, a nod at least to Ubuntu. Um, I used Linux before Ubuntu was ever heard of, but I liked it when it came out. Um, it had its warts, but it was a fun distro, um, especially with the uh, classic or the now classic GNOME uh, shell or GNOME panels and stuff like that, which you can still get through the software center, by the way. You just install GNOME panel and reboot, or yeah, I'd suggest reboot, then uh, choose log into GNOME classic or whatever it's called now. Ubuntu Classic. I don't know. Okay, so uh, those are my thoughts on Ubuntu itself and the Unity and the controversies and uh, what I do to set it up to make it a little more mo well, usable for me. And, uh, you know, it's it's 
your preference. You can do what you want, uh, which is great. Okay, so I like this. Ubuntu uh, 1404 is a very good uh, operating system. Uh, and uh, aside from the privacy issues and a couple little nuance ir um, irritations, it's it's very well done. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, everyone have a great day and a great night and a great month and a great year. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.